Hey y'all, I'm back. Welcome to my IGTV 100 day challenge series. And it's Mommy Monday. It, <laughs> I'm back with more hashtag mom life, hashtag life hacks. And it's just so funny to see like, just, just to be like, you know, I don't want to put anybody down. I don't want anybody to feel bad because they're not a mom or because they're a guy or because they're um, a kid. I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just really happy that I'm a mom. Like, I enjoy being a mother. And um, I feel like just all my life, people have always just, it, I don't know why. I, I can't explain it, but people have always just been so quick to like take something from me like you know i start getting a little older and i start saying things like when i was a kid and then they cut you off and be like you still a kid you know what i mean but when i say hashtag mom life you can't take that from me you know what i mean when i say black girl magic you can't take that from me when i say locks and melanin you can't take it from me so i'm here with the mom life life hacks and I'm just reflecting you know I do that a lot I reflect I have I I I have forgiven and I I just just don't get me wrong I I literally have to make it a point to think before I say I have forgiven because and you know I'll talk about it on Sunday <laughs> Oh wait, no, we've already, by by now, you've already found out what, what Sunday is. So, but no, because by, by the time Sunday comes, I could have actually changed the name. So I'm not gonna talk about it. But I do know I'm gonna be talking about forgiveness. So I probably talked about, I may or may not have talked about forgiveness yesterday. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen on this 100 day challenge? Um, but let me get, let me, let me get back to it. Um, shoot, get back to what? I forgot what I was talking about. Um, forgiveness. I have to, I have to stop and think, like, I have to really, like, I have to have a, a two second meditation. Like, how do you really feel? Before I can say I have forgiven. And I feel like. There's no face to these things. When I go back, there's no one face, okay? It's multiple faces, but they all, they're not all. Uh, is there, is, what time is it? Big rigs? Big rigs? It's a residential area. Okay, Um. but anyways, they lost. Oh no, they might be taking a break. I, it don't matter. Why am I worried about the big rig? Just so easily distracted. But look, so I feel like I feel like no matter what I say. Okay, let, let me let me do it. Okay, so look, <laughs> two second meditation. Have you forgiven? Um, I I see multiple faces that I can associate this with. That's how I know it's real. Um, and I don't have any hard feelings about any of them individually. It's the sin, you know, you can love the people and hate the sin. And the sin was, it's not like they took my identity from me. I, I can't, I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe by Saturday. Because, you know, Saturday, we got to talk. <laughs> but um, I, it's, it's an identity thing. Um, it's definitely an identity thing where I, I, just, I just feel like for so long, I didn't really know what my identity was. I had no choice but to be myself. But how... But it's about how I was made to feel about myself. And I know that people make mistakes and people don't always mean to hurt you. 
It, people aren't always trying to hurt you. And you know what? I'm all up in Sunday. I'm all up in Saturday. And I'm all up in Sunday. But it's about Mom and Mondays, okay? And I'm just so, I'm just trying to tell you, like, I'm just so excited that I can actually sit here and talk about being a mom because I've been a mom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, high school is four years. So once you get on that fifth year and you're in college or, or traveling the world or pursuing, you know, pursuing music or whatever you choose to do on that fifth year, when it's, you know, they say, welcome to the real world, um, you can talk, you can talk about high school and nobody can take it away from you because you've already been through high school and you graduated and I feel like I have, gra I, man, I feel like I'm, you know, I graduated my, my motherhood high school last year. I mean, 2019. So it's like mom life. You know what I mean? And you know what? Father God, if anybody watching this is trying to have children and, you know, really genuinely wants to bring a, a child into this world, world and raise them up and protect them and and cultivate them and help them to succeed in life lord i ask that you bless them right now oh god bless them right now oh god not only not only that they not give up hallelujah lord but that they also Not only do they not give up, Lord, but they also keep the faith. That they also keep their head up high, oh Lord, and they, they also stay positive about it. God, I just ask that you bless them now, oh God. Whatever it is they need, whether they need a surrogate or whether they just need some hormone change or some... What, whatever it is that they need, I don't know, Lord, but I ask that you touch them now in that area in Jesus' name because I want you to have kids, okay? I want I want all y'all to have kids in God's timing. And, um, and, you know, I'm not gonna tell you to wait. I remember this couple was giving me like this little low-key lecture about waiting. And I was already pregnant. I was just sitting in the car like. Thanks. Um, but okay, let me get to it. Because I just be talking. I can talk for hours. But I can but I can go the whole day without talking at all. I, just the best of both worlds. Um, get you one that can do both. I've always wanted to say that, and I just never knew how, but I think that fit, right? Anyway, okay, so <laughs> episode two, um, I want to talk about meditation. I think it's funny um, because I'll say something like how I said about how I'm easily distracted. Um, that's the kind of thing, I don't think it has anything to do with meditation, like like i'm easily distracted <laughs> um i i think that meditation is very important i just like with christianity i'm not a fan of a lot of the rules and i'm not talking about like the real rules but i'm talking about like the man-made rules like so many people like you know they master something and then they start to like make stuff up and it's just like i'm not doing that i'm not doing that like i'm gonna meditate how i'm gonna meditate like because if i don't meditate how i meditate i'm not gonna meditate like i'm gonna lose my mind so let me tell you from my my point of view from my my aspect as a mother of a three-year-old girl and a five-year-old boy it matters 
Um, you know how they say it's the little things? It really is. Like, you literally have to find the moment, okay? I'm not saying like, okay, so not sleeping and meditating are not the same thing, okay? They're not. They're not. You go to sleep, you go to sleep. You meditate, you meditate. Now, um, meditation helps me to sleep because, and, and this has been for so long, I cannot sleep until I, I have to literally separate myself from the whole day and it'd be a lot of happening and some days we don't even leave the house but it'd be a lot of a lot a lot a lot of hell happening up in here <laughs> and I know you can relate if you got a three-year-old girl and a five-year-old boy or if you I mean I'm just kidding if you have a five-year-old and a two-year-old if you have a four-year-old and a one-year-old if you have a 19-year-old and a 30-year-old. I mean, if they in your house, I mean, just, I'm just saying. You got to just you got to find moments like the microwave. Are you warming something up in the microwave? Stop. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. And think. Where am I? How do I feel? What's going on? What do I need to release? Um, it's just a lot of questions that you can ask yourself. You just have to look inward and um, and really like, for real, like you have to get, it's like, okay, so it's like, okay, for me, I'm gonna tell you for me. I can have a lot of thoughts at one time. Like, let's say I have five thoughts going on in my head one time. Okay? Meditation goes between the thoughts, right? Meditation is when you just get, you just, you just have to stop it. Okay? Because one thing I know about a thought is it always comes back. It might not come back today. <laughs> But that thought is going to come back. And it's, you know what, and that's why, let's go back to prayer. Last last week I talked about prayer. Um, just say, look, help me, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, bring it back to my, my remembrance when I'm ready to write it down. It's okay to do that. Like, it's okay. You can ask, you can ask the Holy Spirit for something big, something little. Um, but... Um, I do just, I had to endorse meditation because just like mental health, especially in the black Christian community, um, it's just, it's like a taboo. And I've all, I have, even since I was a little girl, I have always been very interested in the taboo. And I, I know that bothered a lot of people, but I, I'm in it. I'm in it. Like, why don't we talk about that? How will I know if that's something that I struggle with if we never talk about it? Um, but yeah, basically, this video is coming to an end. <laughs> I'm weird. I know I'm weird. But um, just my final thought, like, you got to be able to just stop. You got to you, you gotta really get to know yourself. And the best way is through meditation. Stopping and just bringing it all in and just like filtering it like those thoughts need to be over there those thoughts need to be over here and i need to be right here in this moment microwave you're 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 at a stoplight or at or you're sitting in your car and there's you're waiting for a train find those moments where you're forced more so forced to be patient to take a deep breath and just you because you can't i mean I'm not even going to sit here and try to explain to you what having two kids under six is like. I'm just going to go. Okay, bye.